Shut it down. This is stupid. Bunch of dumb going around in circles. Yeah, yeah, stupid. It's like just a bunch of dumb going around in circles. <clears throat> Whoa. This is the coolest show in the history of television. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like it's the coolest show in the history of television. Yeah. What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and leave a like on this video because it's Never a better day than uh, a company getting woke and, uh, of course, going broke. We know that Starbucks has been forced to uh, close multiple locations in woke cities due to crime and their own staff literally not being safe to come into work. But now it's really hurting them. Their woke policies and woke employees and union going out and celebrating essentially what happened to those innocent people uh, e e back in uh, during the music festival issue uh, incident um, has cost them $11 billion. The boycott of Starbucks is real and it is costing them billions of dollars. And it's also great to dunk on Starbucks when you have a coffee company, but uh, that's neither here nor there. If you watched my videos yesterday, you know I'll keep it short. Coffee Brand Coffee's gift boxes are on sale now. The perfect gift for family, friends, or coworkers, and for Hanukkah probably too. Um, we have pre-built boxes, and we also have our customized gift box builder. Even if they don't like coffee, we've got 15 organic teas. We've got real cacao, cocos, peppermint mochas, peppermint cocos. We've got 15 different premium snacks you can put in that gift box. It comes ready to gift. Get your holidays handled, coffeebrandcoffee.com. Save 10% with promo code BESTGIFT, link in the description. Starbucks loses $11 billion in value amid boycotts. Starbucks' recent weeks have been fraught with turmoil as a combination of boycotts, staff strikes, and a lukewarm holiday promotion led to $11 billion in decline in market value. Now, I wonder if uh, that's continued today. Starbucks stock, I bet you it's probably not. Uh, I don't know what their, who actually owns them. So we'll have to see what their stock ticker is. But, uh, well, the iconic, here's what happened, essentially. Starbucks has their workers union, which represents like 1% of their staff. The problem is all the communists online love them and follow them and signal boost them on Twitter. They posted, I believe, a celebration, a celebratory post of uh, the attack that happened at the music festival. Many people say, well, they didn't really celebrate. And they, I mean, it, it, perception is reality and it was perceived as though they were celebrating what happened to those innocent people. And um, they're also a bunch of communist losers so they support BLM and all this other crap. So they're constantly getting their company in trouble with everyday regular people. While the iconic coffee chain struggles are multifaceted, including a less cheerful Red Cup Day and global political tension spilling into its cafes, the undercurrent of discontent signals a challenging brew for the company's future and industry. an in, 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 in industry analyst has said. The stock market weighed heavily on Starbucks as it grapples with complex societal issues, prompting investors to retreat. Again, just like Bud Light, just like Home Depot yesterday, just like, you know, it is your job to just serve overpriced coffee. It's an incredibly easy job. I don't really understand. You know how hard it is to compete in this space? I have coffee brand coffee. It's literally called coffee brand coffee because I don't want it to have, you know, I don't want, I could have started something cringe like leftist tears coffee or something like that, but I didn't want to get political because that would have been everything that I rail against uh, in modern day businesses. These people have it made. They have the entire market cornered. Their coffee is mid at best. Five, six dollars a cup when you could brew delicious coffee brand coffee for like 30 cents a cup. All right. I see the hero there. Have I plugged it enough? Okay. Now, uh, within the span of 19 calendar days since November 16th, Red Cup promotion, shares of Starbucks have plummeted 8.96%, 
which equates to $11 billion in losses amidst analyst reports of slowing sales and a subdued response to the holiday season's offerings. Well, I mean, I, I think that some of that has to do with the wokeness of the company's employees and their messaging. The boycotts at Seattle-based Washington chain have deep roots touching sensitive geopolitical issues after the company found itself in hot water following a tweet from the Starbucks Workers Union rep representing many of its baristas expressing solidarity with Palestinians. The swift corporate response sparked a series of boycotts with calls to action resonating across social media platforms the company's legal actions against the union have intensified the debate, leaving Starbucks to navigate its business operation amid political expression. Well, this is, you didn't have to get political. You didn't have to get political. And, 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 and you sell coffee. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really understand why they think that they have to get political. You don't. Here's their stock price over the last five days. Here's the last stock price over the last one month. $11 billion in losses. The strikes led by unionized workers, again, which represent like 1% of their staff, uh, highlighted an urge. Why do barist coffee baristas need unions? You have the easiest job on the planet. Yes, you have rushes where it gets busy, but you make coffee. You're not in a steel mill. You're not, you don't have a dangerous job. You work in air conditioning. You get tips. People pay $7 for a mocha and then still give you extra money. Anyway, the le uh, led by unionized workers highlighted the urge for improved staffing, scheduling, and bargaining over contract negotiations. The workers demanded better working conditions. Yeah, air-conditioned, um, you know, climate-controlled, dealing with upper-middle-class white people all day long. Sounds like hell. Actually, that does sound like hell. The workers demand better conditions, specifically on high traffic days, that they test the limits of staff capacity and morale. The company denied any wrongdoing in the scenarios, but faces a challenge of maintaining its brand reputation amid divisive global issues. In a recent call with analysts, Starbucks CEO Laxman Narashamanayinanaja, not going to work here anymore, said he remains optimistic about the company's diversified channels and its ability to engage in customers despite macroeconomic challenges and changing consumer behaviors. Well, in the meantime, Starbucks, or, uh, McDonald's is opening up their own like cafe stores to compete with Starbucks. Dunkin' Donuts is getting more popular. Um, people that are in the know are going to coffeebrandcoffee.com, getting their Christmas gift boxes and getting more people on the band with companies that don't hate you. You know, and you see like stock market news. Oh, I've said hit this. The losing streak continues. Starbucks stock is still rolling. I mean, all this stuff is because they got woke. Starbucks sales slump amid staff strikes. Amid the dip in sales, uh, its stock has suffered a record run of losses, resulting in 10% market value of nearly $12 billion as of December 4th. In particular, the chain's Red Cup Day, during which it gives out reusable red cups to usher in the holiday season, saw a weaker turnout than usual as staff walkouts affected 200 stores across the United States. Well, I don't know about that because they have like 5,000 stores or something like that. Starbucks only saw a 31.7% increase in foot traffic during their annual promotion event this year compared to an 81% from 2022. So it's down 50%. Sales down 50%, well, 50 percentage points. According to a new report from the nation's Restaurant News, which cited data from Pacer.ai, the report also noted that this year's traffic was less than half of recorded bumps from the recent event in 2020, 2021, and 2022. The boycotts are working. They, they pissed off everybody. This is what happens when you go political, right? Your job is to sell coffee, not to tell your customers how to vote, not to tell your customers how to feel about geopolitics. It's to sell coffee. And this goes for Home Depot. You sell, you sell nails and wood, okay? Don't make, com don't have, you know, um, don't have pamphlets in your, in your break room about gender equality. All right. The same is true for car dealerships. You sell the car, hot dog vendors, sell the hot dog. 
I've been craving a hot dog lately. I don't know why. I, I just, I don't know. I get in these moods every once in a while. I'm thinking like, I, I remember, remember um, boiling them. I remember boiling hot dogs. That was the thing. They'd be in the big Nesco. They have like 500 dogs floating in there. Man, I think I don't think I have any hot dogs either. Anyway, Starbucks, of course, only saw the 31% bump, which we talked about. Despite weakening sales, they remain uh, optimistic, which I don't. You know, I, I don't because people are going to continue to, you know, push back against these companies getting political. Here's American Pro Pulse on TikToker. The Starbucks boycott is working. When you sell something as replaceable as coffee, beer, generic beer, right? I'm not dissing people that drink Bud Light. Well, now I am. But, you know, people that, you know, buy beer by the case, those are my people. That's the Midwest. People buy a 12 pack of beer, enjoy, and it's all basically the same. Miller, Bud Light, Coors, it's all basically the same. But when you sell something so replaceable, like coffee, especially designer coffee that you've tricked people into thinking is so amazing and you're, all you're doing is pumping them. Any coffee would, let me put it this way, okay? Any coffee that you put a cup of sugar in and you put sprinkles and whipped cream on top is going to taste good, okay? That's the, that's the lie that Starbucks sells. People don't love Starbucks because their black coffee is so good. They like it because they go there and they get ice cream. They get an ice cream sundae every day while they're at work. They get a sugar rush and they think, oh, the coffee's just so good. Bro, of course it is. That coffee could be made from you know, ground up recycled newspaper. If you put that much sugar, whipped cream, and sprinkles on it, it's going to taste good. All this kind of stuff, you know, getting political, social media fueling boycotts against McDonald's and Starbucks after this war. Like, what does McDonald's or Starbucks have to do with this war? Nothing if they were smart. Nothing if they kept their mouth shut. And now they're paying the price and I couldn't be happier about it. Hey, by the way, if you're boycotting Starbucks, Papa Jeremy's got you. Coffeebrandcoffee.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.